In this video, I'm going to show you how to nickname smart contracts so that your NFTs are not stolen. We might connect to a smart contract and unknowingly sign away our NFTs and give it to hackers. So if you have any NFTs that you find valuable or NFTs that you think a hacker would find valuable, I definitely would recommend that you pay attention to this video and nickname smart contracts. And if you enjoy these security tips, make sure to hit the like button. It really helps support the channel. And with that being said, let's get into the content. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. The reason that we are nicknaming smart contracts is so that if a hacker ever tries to steal our NFTs, we will recognize it. We will be aware. So the first thing we are going to do is find one NFT from our project, whether it's an MFers, Bored Ape, World of Women, whichever project it is that you want to protect, go to OpenSea and find one NFT from that collection. Then scroll down to details and select contract address. It will then bring you to Etherscan. And once you're on Etherscan, you want to head over to contract. And then from there, you want to select write contract and then connect to Web3. So we are going to connect our MetaMask wallet. And then from here, we want to make one interaction where we are not actually going to do anything with the contract. We just want to make an interaction so we can choose any of these functions. I'm going to choose mint and we're going to enter one and one and write. Then we will get a message box from MetaMask and at the top it says new address detected. Click here to add to your address book. So we are not actually going to do anything with this transaction. We are only here to nickname it. So I will click over here and add nickname and I will add the nickname over here of MFers or you would add whichever project that is that you are adding a nickname for and then we will save it. So now in the future, whenever we interact with MFers or whichever NFT it is in question, when we get this notification, it will show us the name of the contract that we are interacting with. And this is how it saves us. So in the future, or even in the past, the way people have their NFT stolen is they connect to a contract thinking they might be buying some new NFT or they may be thinking they're sending crypto but really they are having their NFT stolen from them. So let's say you have an MFR, or let's say you have a board ape and in the future you go ahead and you connect to a smart contract and you see at the top that nickname MFers or board ape or world of women or whichever NFT it is, but you have no intention of doing anything with that NFT click away and do not interact. And I have a full security and scams playlist in the description down below. I definitely would recommend you go ahead and maybe just check out one or two of those videos. And who knows, maybe it can save you from losing thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even maybe millions of dollars in the future. Stay safe out there. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.